all I have to say is that this is going to be a very dramatic video. <laughs> She's hit good. Oh, yeah. You... I think you did okay. <laughs> How do you think you did? I mean, it definitely hit. Okay, I do see white fur, which is its belly fur. <laughs> but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's also not necessarily a I, good It thing. was a little low. Yeah, it was a little low, but... Still may be good enough. You knocked the fur off of it, but that may not be a good thing. But the good thing... Is that she ran that way, and the deer never run that way. Oh my goodness. Look at the fur. You know what the fur is. that a deer fur? What the heck is that? Wow. So, um, where did that come from? I don't think we should celebrate yet. What? What is it? The arrow? Is the arrow bloody? It's not. <laughs> on this. The arrow's not blood. What the heck did you hit? You hit the building. Wait a sec. Shine that back on. Okay. You hit something really hard that there's no blood. No blood at all. There's definitely no blood on this arrow. Oh. You hit something extremely hard because it broke the broadhead, stripped the veins, and knocked the knockout. That's definitely the arrow that I shot. Yeah, it definitely is. I think you might have still hit the building. And it came, lost a lot of energy when it hit the building. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I think you, I think you may have. I think you scraped the building, lost a lot of energy, obviously because you hit the building, and then that's why the arrow dropped so much and could have even. It that kind of looks like tail hair, if I'm gonna be honest. It looks like you hit its tail. <laughs> oh my goodness! If we see a, if we see a white tail deer without a white tail, you'll know that's the one. What happened? I know exactly what happened. You know exactly what happened? Yeah. Because you told me to raise up. Yeah. And I did. I raised up because I was <laughs> I was aiming at the building. Yeah. Like yeah. at the wall. But then I raised up. And I raised up just enough to where the arrow went over. Yeah. But this part didn't go over. Uh, That's why this one. I think what happened is uh, the uh, arrow and the little piece of the broadhead that sticks out to grab the deer. Cut it. Yeah. Because uh, there's no white fur on a deer's vitals. There's white fur on the belly and the tail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you shot the building. Where? I'm about positive you did. Because there's fresh paint chipped off. Oh, yeah, you hit the building. Where at? Right here. Ow. Because there, there's that fresh, fresh wood. Paint chipped off. All right. I'll go ahead and skip. All right, there they all are. Oh, uh, you may not be able to tell much about this, but we can tell a little bit. Let's listen to the sound. Does it sound like it hit a building? Because it, it did. Is it? It had a clack. Yeah. It appears you were pretty well dead on. But from just... And it kicked, too. So it, it mule kicked. It knew it was hit, but it wasn't... Hit. Yeah, it's it was in the belly. It was in the belly, so yeah, it probably it scraped right. its belly. It might burn the deer. I don't know, but I mean, it even runs off like it's kind of hit. But there's not a single piece of blood on the arrow, and it's just belly hair. And it's not like up here belly hair. It's like right here. So you literally scaved it just enough for that deer to actually feel it. And uh, 
it ran off and we went over there and looked for blood, but there definitely wasn't any. So, do you have anything to say? Uh, no. No. We're going to give them about a week and then we're going to go back out and attempt to do the same thing. I'm really sad. We could have been skinning a deer right now, but that's okay. We'll see you guys next week, hopefully. Something to say at that distance. It probably wouldn't have mattered. At that distance, the difference between the 25 and 30 yard pin is literally one inch. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. All of the pins, or even 20 to 40, are all within that trail camera. Which means from 20 to 30, from 20 all the way out to 40 at that distance is only a difference of that much. No, that's not what I'm saying. All I have to say is that this is going to be a very dramatic video. <laughs> the good news is that the deer really didn't know what happened. Just for a second, I need to tell you guys that we have three new hats on kennelgrade1.com slash shop or the first link in the description. We have this new gun sling, which fits and protects even your longest gun. We have this orange beanie, this green beanie, and these green pair of gloves for since it's getting cold with winter. And then we have these two new t-shirts. The t-shirts are super great material. If you want to buy any of these things, use promo code Abram. Can't kill a deer. Yes, that's right. All caps, Abram can't kill a deer. Literally everything you guys buy really does help support the channel a lot. But I don't want to waste your time. Let's get back into the video. Okay, guys, we're back. Notice anything. There's a really good chance the deer come back this evening for their evening feed or whatever. So we're going to hang tight. There's still a lot of snow on the ground. Hopefully we'll get something. Obviously, hopefully we get some. You miss it in. No way. I went for that other one. Really? Yeah. The big one? Yeah. Did you miss again? I heard it hit something. It would. Did it? 
Yeah, hit a tree. So which one did you aim at? The big one. On did, the left. Where did you hold on the bow? What yards? I did about 30. Okay. You feel confident in the shot? It looked dead on. Okay. Did you pull the trigger nice and slow? No. Okay. I wasn't watching that deer, but we'll go look for blood in a minute. <laughs> hey, from that's your last arrow. We have to wait five to seven business days for the net new arrows to get shipped in. We don't have any more arrows. <sighs> After reviewing the footage and talking to the client, he said the shot felt good. And I assured him wherever the crosshairs is, when that trigger is pulled, that's where the arrows go. Okay, I'm just putting that out there, okay. I said that thing and good. It was sitting at about 25, jumped back five yards. He mentally made the adjustment to switch from the 30, I mean to the 25, to the 30 pin which was good. The big doe was broadside. Really good shot. At first, I didn't think he hit it. I told him to shoot a different deer and he didn't. <laughs> I was like, shoot the one that's standing there. I, I, I was going for the big one. Yeah, it's not, the, it's not even that much bigger. <laughs> yeah, but I, I knew it was big. After we left this morning, he was like, you know what, I think I'm gonna wait for a buck. I said, Abram, you're never gonna kill a deer. <laughs> but after reviewing the shot, he said it felt good. I looked back at the footage at the doe he actually shot. It, it did look good and the, the deer did mule kick. Now here's the thing, if the arrow went where it was supposed to and where it looked like it went on the footage, it should already be dead. But with hunting, weird things can happen. So we're gonna give it some time. There's not really any need to rush in there. Huh? Deer blood? Okay, good. I was about to say that deer didn't run far, but she did. Okay. 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 Um, let's see if we can find that arrow first. What colors are the blood? The blood is kind of bright. Let's just go real quiet too. Yeah, she is bleeding pretty good. You're a little bit. Yeah, she's. Bleeding. We'll just go real slow. Yeah, you can see where she ran too. Let's just stop right here and watch. Maybe we should try to find that arrow to find out where you hit her. Update, we uh, found the arrow and from this it is covered in blood and it's covered in a pretty good color of blood. So this, this bottom vein supposed to be white, so yeah. Hit it pretty good. Um, and we're gonna go back, warm up, give this thing time to die just in case it wasn't hit perfectly. Get some lots and uh, we'll be back out here in a little bit. All right guys, we got expert trapper Mikey. He's gonna help us out. We told him to come help us track a deer and he dressed like he's going to Chicago. But you know what? We'll take what we can get. Here's what happened though, for realsies. We backed out the last clip. You seen we backed out because we like, hey, there's not a ton of blood. We went home, we reviewed the footage. We think it is either a liver, liver lung, or just high lung. All three of which can't explain why they're not bleeding a ton. Now it is light colored blood, which leads me to believe it's just a high lung shot. Regardless, we waited about five, six hours. Now we're back out here again. We're just gonna be looking for it. We are on the track of blood. Though. She's dripping pretty good and that's what we need and you can see where she's slipping You can see her her trail where she's busted through the snow and we also have blood which is you know Three signs that the deer went this way. There's a little piece right there. Okay. That's some decent blood right there It's not amazing, but that's enough blood and she's finally starting to bleed out more Yeah, she went this way. Did she make it to right here? Is this a different deer? I'm not seeing blood Turn around and keep looking. Yeah, let's turn around. Where was the last blood? Last blood, I believe, came right through here. Yeah, right there's last blood. So. Alright guys, listen, it's been, it's been right out of month. Long story short, the video just got finished editing today. But whenever I saw that video, I wanted to come give it one last try. Let's call Abram. Abram, where are you at? I'm in Austin, Texas. Interesting. Well, 
The video just got edited today and finished of your deer hunt. And so I watched back the footage and I decided to come out and look one more time and look what we found. How do I do this? Are you serious? No, yes, dead serious. Look at this. This is an adult doe in the exact area. I told Ethan, if this deer went where I thought it was, I told him it's like a 25 by 25 yard area. Yeah. We came here, we found an adult doe skull and then right here on this piece of meat there's still flesh on it that's a, roughly a month old i told ethan over there and i'm just saying if the deer's there we're going to walk into this very small area that i pointed out to ethan i said we're going to walk in there and if the deer died the way i think it did there's going to be a skeleton laying there we walked over here and we found a skeleton laying here you look at this you know this is a deer i mean you know it's a deer you know it's a doe you can look at its size it's a it's an old doe like the one he shot at you can see it's a skin head it's not a buck you can look on top of its head there's still meat there you can look at this shoulder blade there's still meat there still fresh not fresh but it's a month old but regardless good job Abram. you can i mean kind of i mean yeah there's a skull don't step on it. We're going to give that to Abram, by the way. Here's its lower jaw. Still got some meat on it. As for the rest of its body, it has been a month. There's no guarantees you can find the rest of its body.